Hi, thank you for joining and uh, learning together with me on how to do a self HIV test at home. My name is Aida Muzati and let us get straight to the testing. Now, first, this one, you'll get it uh, from a pharmacy that uh, if you're in Kenya between 200 uh, to 300 shillings, that's uh, between $2 uh, to $3 or thereabout. So we'll just start by looking at the components of uh, the uh, rapid HIV test kit right here. So we'll just open it. So these are some of the components right here, as you can see. Then we have these other three components. I'll just uh, place them here. Then you'll also need a dry uh, tissue. I'll just let you know the importance of having this dry, clean tissue. This one here is known as a lancet. This is what you'll use uh, to prick yourself so that you get the blood sample for the test. This one is an alcohol swab that you'll use to wipe your finger so that you get the blood. And this one here is just a liquid to help in diluting uh, the blood. Then this is the main um, uh, test right here. So what to do, we need to cut it. So you just cut using your, your hands. You'll see some spaces just uh, uh, in the corners to help you cut. Then we cut it open. So you place this one on a flat surface. This is where we will be putting our blood. Then we have this tube right here. It's known as a pipette. This is what we'll use to, to collect the blood, all right? Then we have this, it's just used basically to store uh, the two and just to keep them fresh. So we'll keep it inside there. So the first thing to do is to take your lancet right here. So this is the lancet. The very first one is to use the alcohol swab, all right? So we cut the alcohol swab open. Then we take it. And now we want to wipe, the middle finger is more advisable, all right? And now we want to wipe the middle finger. So you wipe and make sure before wiping, you should have washed your hands before that so that they are clean. So you wipe, okay? After wiping, we take our lancet. You'll have to turn it twice so that it opens. So we turn one, two, all right? Then you pull it, they we have done. And then on the middle finger right here, as I had mentioned earlier, so we want to prick ourselves, okay, so that we get blood, now the blood sample. All right, hope I'll be able to prick myself. Oh God. Okay. I've been able to prick myself, okay? Then we put this aside. Then we'll now take the pipette right here, okay? So before taking our pipette, what you need to do, you, you now need to press the blood so that it comes out. Do not press, but instead just do like you're massaging the place, all right? Unfortunately, I pricked myself twice, so the importance of this tissue is that it's just to wipe the first blood, all right? Make sure you don't prick yourself twice like I've done. So we wipe the first blood that, of course, has the alcohol uh, swab, okay? Then just massage the area again. You can see the blood is still coming out. Then use the pipette or the pipe to now get the sample, all right? In case you don't use the pipette, you can still just squeeze and drop the blood right here. Okay, in case the blood doesn't stop, we can now use the pipette. So what you do, you press the pipette and collect the blood sample, as I've done, right? Then you drop one drop, wait, then drop another. So we drop one, okay? You can still just massage the place, do not press. Pick another sample. Okay, and drop. I hope you can see that. 
Let me massage the place again so that blood comes out. All right. And drop as I've done, okay? Then we just put this aside. Then this tissue will still help you in absorbing uh, the blood from the finger. All right. Now we are going to use the blood diluter right here. It's a liquid. So you open as I've done. Then you, two, you do two drops of a liquid right here. So you do, I hope you can see that. You do one, all right, and two. This just helps in uh, diluting uh, the blood, all right? I hope you can see that clear. The blood is already diffusing now uh, to the tester right there. So let us just uh, uh, put uh, these ones aside. As you can see, my blood has actually stop, stopped from uh, coming out. So now this one, the test normally it takes between 15 to 20 minutes. All right. So you should not uh, read your, your results. That is uh, below 15 minutes. And you should also not read your results that is after 20 minutes so you do that between 15 to uh, 20 minutes right there the, the, the results are actually have actually started showing and as I had uh, mentioned earlier on let me just help you in now understanding how to uh, just uh, get to uh, read uh, the results for yourself now we have a place that uh, is written C as you can see and we have a place that is written T. All right. So C, in case one line shows at C, all right, that means you're HIV negative. Uh, now, if two lines show that's at C and the testing area, that means you're positive. But if one line shows at T, it means that's an invalid result. Or if there is no line at all, it also means that, that the results are still invalid, all right? And uh, this paper right here will just help you in, uh, probably help you interpret uh, the results. As I had mentioned earlier on, you need to read your results. That is 15 to 20 minutes, not above or not more than uh, 15 to 20 minutes after you have done the testing, all right? And uh, so we'll just uh, wait for, let me say 15, the, the 15 or the 20 minutes and I'll just start uh, a timer right here. So I'll do, I'll do 20 minutes and start the timer. And uh, it's done. Okay. So these are my results. Okay, so this means that I am HIV negative. As I had mentioned earlier on, if the line shows a C, it means you're HIV negative. If it shows two lines at C and T, it means you are HIV positive. If there is one line at T, it means that's an invalid result. If there's no line at all, it also means that that's an invalid result. Probably you'll now need to go to an expert or a professional for a proper HIV test. Well, that's all. Thank you so much for learning together with me. And if this video has been of help, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Aida Muzatsi. I am a health and science journalist.